Hey guys, I'm Steph and welcome back to my beauty stash. Today we're going to be trying out two brand new mascaras from Essence Cosmetics. You guys know I love me a good Essence mascara. You do not have to pay upwards of $20 to get a good mascara. Right here, these little Essence Beauties, they retail for $6. And these are a dollar more than their regular mascaras. Most of their mascaras are um, $5.00. So these are new, these are $6, so because they have a higher price tag, we're gonna hold them to a higher standard. I picked these up online from Ulta Beauty. Now these are both the same line of mascara, but they claim to do a couple different things. So this first one right here is the Essence 24 Ever Bold Volume Mascara. This is gonna be 24 hour long lasting and conditioning volume mascara mascara for a bold result. Now the other one is also the 24 ever. This one is defined volume mascara. Again, another 24 hour. It says uh, long lasting and conditioning volume mascara for a defined result. This also, and I think both of them, yeah, they both contain hemp seed oil. They both contain jojoba and almond oil as well. Um, both of them have vitamin E. Um, yeah, so these look like they have pretty decent ingredients. And I did pick up the shade black in both of them. I think they only come in one shade anyway. So I cannot wait to put these to the test today. We're going to be wearing these all day long. I am going to do at least 10 hours, if not 12. I don't know anybody who wears their mascara for 24 hours. You should not be doing that. Please, please don't ever go to sleep with your makeup on. Um, so 24 hours is not something that I would test out because I would never wear mascara for 24 hours. These are not waterproof either. I prefer non-waterproof mascara. You might be different. You might need a waterproof mascara. And if that's the case, Essence does make some pretty good ones. And I'll link some of my favorite Essence mascaras in the description box of this video um, in case you are interested in trying some of their other ones because I have quite a few in my stash and I also did I also did a video over the summer it was my top five essence mascaras and I will have that linked up above uh, right up here in the iCard so that you can check that out if you wish but let's get started with this uh, 10 hour at least 10 hour review of these new essence 24 ever mascaras if you want to see how they work out keep on watching all right, guys, so I zoomed you in nice and close. And before I start this um, mascara application and wear test, I do want to say that I use Revitalash. Revitalash is uh, an eyelash serum, a conditioner to help grow your lashes. I know a lot of you have commented on the length of my lashes, the fullness of my lashes. I have been using Revitalash for about two and a half years now, and I use it consistently. Now, since I've used it for that long, it's okay if I skip a night, but if you're going to just be starting out with Revitalash, you're going to first and foremost be investing a lot of money because it is pretty expensive, at least in my eyes it's expensive, and second, you're going to need to use it every single night to notice results and it'll take a good 60 days before you can notice any results but trust me if you use it consistently every single night you will see results that's how long it took for me I know some others have seen results in 30 days some it takes the full 90 days but with consistent use you will see the results and I am like a walking advertisement for them I wish they would sponsor me I am in no way sponsored I do have an affiliate link but that is because I use reward style to link a lot of my products and because I am a YouTube and Instagram content creator I am able to link to just about any product that I want anything that I try out for you guys that I think it's worth linking I definitely include those affiliate links in the description box and if you do shop through them Thank you for supporting me and my channel. So I just, I had to preface this mascara demo and wear test with that just because I get asked about it a lot. And um, I have it now permanently in the description box of every single one of my videos, my brief write-up on Revitalash and, you know, obviously you can see the results. So 
Let's move forward to the reason why you're here. Um, on the right side, and I'm not gonna curl my lashes, okay? So on the right side, I'm gonna go in with bold volume. Now, I don't even think I've, you know, I have not opened these at all. Okay, so it's a plastic applicator. Little spikes all around it. So kind of like a comb-like. Now, let's just start brushing this. And usually, guys, I just use one coat of mascara. I mean, I comb through my lashes quite a bit with what comes out on the wand. But I normally just do one coat. Some mascaras I will do two. But normally I just do one. So I do like the applicator. I do like the wand because I feel like it's separating my lashes. And it's definitely highlighting the length. I kind of feel like it's curling them too. What do you guys think? I don't feel like anything burning or itching or anything like that. There is no scent, well, like a makeup scent to it, but I had to like get really close to smell that. Let me just do my lower lash line. And then I'll come back up, still not dipping in, just using what's on the wand. Well, that looks nice. All right, so this is the 24 Ever Bold Mascara from Essence. Now we're gonna go in with 24 Ever Defined Volume on the left eye. So this one's pink, this one's purple. Okay, so this brush is different. This is definitely a bigger brush, and this is actually like a brush, like a typical spoolie. So this is definitely different from the first one in size and in texture and all of that. The formulas on both of them seem to be pretty much the same, although I think because this one is like that brush style, this one feels like there's less product than the first one did since I think more actually comes out when you use those plastic applicators at least that's what I've noticed but this one definitely seems lighter weight kind of feels lighter weight feels like it's a more like feathered out mascara like that's what it's doing to my lashes I think this is definitely like a softer mascara. All right, so this is the defined volume. Can you guys tell a difference? I can tell the difference when I apply them. So definitely I think that this gives more definition. And that's strange because this one says bold and this one is defined, yet I feel like I get a more defined look with this eye, I don't know, what do you guys think? I feel like this one is definitely lighter weight. And I think I could go in with a second coat on this one and maybe not so much on this one. So let me try it, let's try it. I do think they both curl though. That's cause I don't always curl my eyelashes either. And you know, maybe this one is giving me more fullness too. Yeah, I think that helped a little bit. What do you guys think? Now, should I do another coat on this side? Probably, right? Make them equal. So 
So I'm going to be wearing these for a good 10 hours. Um, I'll come back and show you guys probably at about the six hour mark to see what it's looking like to see if anything has smear or smudged or anything like that. Um, and then we'll go from there. We'll see how these wear. I'm hoping that they don't flake. I'm hoping that they don't smear. I usually don't have that happen with Essence mascaras. They're usually pretty decent. Um, these are six dollars instead of five. So it'll be interesting to see if that one extra dollar is worth it or not. So I will definitely be back in a few hours to give you guys my first check-in of the day with these new Essence Mascaras 24 Ever. Bold and Define Volume Mascaras. So I'll check in with you guys in a little bit. We are now six hours in of me wear testing these new Essence 24 Ever mascaras. On the right, we have Bold Volume. And on the left, we have Defined Volume. What do you guys think of these lashes? What do you think of the mascara? I will say I have not gotten any smudging, smearing. I got one flake and it was right here and I just flicked it away. That's it. One flake from these new five, no, six dollar mascaras. Again, the defined volume. This is the one again with the traditional brush applicator. This, I feel like it's um, a lighter weight formula. And on this one, I really noticed that two coats worked best. But on this one, the bold volume, this is more of that comb plastic applicator style. And for me, one coat of this one worked just fine. Now, do I think that, oh, because I needed two coats of this one, it's lesser than, than this one? No, I mean... Some mascaras are that way. And some of you like to do two coats or even three coats. I mean, you do whatever you feel works best for you and your lashes. But I mean, honestly, guys, I can't really tell a big difference. Um, I kind of am partial to this side just because I thought it was easier to apply. And I feel like I have definitely have more definition on this side than on this eye. But I like them both. I mean, they're both doing a pretty decent job. They still have a few more hours to go. And I will be back to give you guys my final thoughts in the next check-in. All right, guys. 12 hours has passed since I initially applied these new Essence 24 Ever Mascaras. On the left eye, we tried the defined volume, and on the right, we went in with the bold volume. What do you guys think? I think that Essence did another outstanding job with both of these mascaras. The formulas are different, and I like them both. Um, I, I'm glad I have them both. But if you made me pick one, I'm going to give it to the bold volume. I just think that the lashes are more defined. They feel a little bit thicker and a little bit more separated. While I do have separation over here, I feel like this is a softer lash. And I definitely feel, I feel like this one should have been defined and this one should have been bold. I don't know. What do you think? Well, maybe they both match up with each other, but kind of partial to this side. And I was upon initial application and my thoughts have not changed. I definitely think I like this side better. And I only had to use one coat. Like I was happy with the way this one looked with one coat versus this one with two coats. Um, but I did two coats just because I was doing two coats with this one. Guys, no smudging, no smearing, no flaking. No, one flake right here with this one no big deal flicked away um and yeah this is how my lashes are looking after 12 hours these say that they're gonna last 24 hours and you know what they probably will but i am not trying it for 24 hours and neither should you just remember guys and let me i don't think i i um showed you this on camera so let me just hold up the wands so you guys can see what they look like you guys let's see am i in frame there we go 
So this one is more of the plastic applicator. This one is the defined volume. And this one over here on the left is more of the traditional brush style spoolie applicator. And it's obviously thicker than the one over here on the right. So that also has a lot to do um, with how these mascaras apply, you know, whichever is your preference. To me, it doesn't matter, you know, um, either type of uh, spoolie, either type of wand is okay with me. Although I do think I get more separation with this comb style, this plastic style applicator versus the brush. Um, but I like the formula of both. I will say that I feel like this one is a little bit more lightweight than this one. Again, I've used Essence mascaras for years. I have yet to meet an Essence mascara that I haven't really enjoyed. I think I've only met one and like the name of it escapes me. So guys, leave me your comments down below. What do you think of these new little beauties? Have you heard about them? Are you going to pick them up now? Let me know your thoughts. One more time, guys. If you're wondering how I get long lashes like these without the mascara, it's because I do use Revital Lash. And that information is um, linked and listed in the description box down below. I have been a user lover of Revitalash for two and a half years now. And I am here to say it does work with consistent use. You guys have a great day or night wherever it is you all are at. Stay hydrated, guys. Drink your water and I will see you all very soon. Bye.